Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying Duck Donuts. This is located in Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm going to just show you. It's, it looks like a little bitty store. It looks like you can eat inside, but of course we won't. And uh, so we're going to go get us some donuts. It was a really nice place. If you want to go in there uh, and sit and eat, you can. But we ordered six donuts. And we ordered, basically we ordered from there sweet and salty half dozen uh, menu we only changed out one of the donuts so we um we ordered the uh, chocolate icing with marshmallow drizzle which is this one the maple icing with chopped bacon and chocolate drizzle which is no. this one and then we got a peanut butter icing with crushed pretzels and hot fudge uh, drizzle and then we got a vanilla icing with crushed chips and chocolate drizzle. And then this one is a chocolate icing with crushed chips and crushed pretzels. And then instead of, they had a, a chocolate covered strawberry option. Instead of getting a chocolate covered strawberry, I wanted to get something with Oreo. So I chose the Oreo cookies and cream. So our total, it says, uh, let's see. It was $12. It was $12 plus tax. So if you get six donuts, you're going to pay $12 plus tax, whatever right. your tax is in your area. So the first one we're going to try, do you want to hold it up, hold the plate up a little bit before you start? Um, the first one we're going to be trying is the the plainest. It is the chocolate <laughs> the icing. of the bunch. <laughs> the plainest of the bunch. It is chocolate icing with marshmallow drizzle and we are going to be using a fork because these are wet like a lot of the sauces the i mean they're doing the drizzles. The, everything they're doing it right yeah. there yeah literally they take the donuts and they put the stuff on the top of them right in front of you yes like you can watch them do it yes so like this is glistening it is literally wet <laughs> so so we don't want to get, uh, pick it up and get it all over our fingers i've got my own fork oh. i've got a fork right here It's warm. They're all warm. The whole box was warm. like the donuts are warm when they put them in the box. So mm -hmm. that's nice. So if you can eat them right after you get them, that they're still warm. Um, the it, donut has a little crispiness to it too. That is exactly what I was going to comment on. It's crispy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really nice. I like that. It, it's it's mostly chocolate, but it. it I mean, um, you might have a maybe a like you might have a little bit of that marshmallow flavor on there, but it's not like super super strong. I don't taste any marshmallow. That one reminds me of a, um, the texture's different, but it reminds me of just like the package of the little donuts, the little chocolate donuts that has that cake inside. Yeah, but these are so much better. It's be it is better, it is better. And I do like that crispiness to it. Mm -hmm. I do like that it's a little warm but it does remind me a lot of that flavor yep. the flavor is pretty much that's that's what yeah, it is yeah that's true i like it though if you see the stops and starts in the video it's just because i'm taking pictures of each one before we yeah. dive into it things are more complicated in the car yes it, <laughs> just to let you know it's <laughs> definitely more complicated in the car uh cookies and cream is what we're going to try next this is oreo. oreo it's vanilla icing with oreo cookie pieces and hot fudge drizzle. No, I didn't hold the plate up. So this is the one, this is the one that I substituted and I got this instead of the chocolate covered strawberry. Everything else I got just their sweet and salty. But it, they have like three different ones with Oreo, the Oreo name. I think they had like a chocolate donut too. Mm -hmm. This is more Oreo like crumble. They also have one that was Oreo like chunks. I like that one too. Mm -hmm. I like it that you get that, um, you get kind of that vanilla cream flavor, but then you get that chocolate Oreo flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. And then they put that, whatever that drizzle of hot fudge or whatever, you really taste it. It's not just there for decoration. You actually do taste it. Yes. It's but nice. Um, I think it's a nicer quality too than just like a, a Hershey's hot mm -hmm. butt. It doesn't taste like Hershey's. No, no, it's richer. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a richer chocolate. 
but I do like the uh, the uh, crumble, the Oreo crumbles, like yeah. Kevin said. And that one seems sweeter to me than the first one. It, it does. It seems very sweet. I I'll, think it's the glaze. Yes, I like this one more than the first one. Yeah, I'm trying to figure do out you places wanna, to put these. <laughs> do you want to put this on that same plate? No. So now we're going to be trying the vanilla icing with. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. Vanilla icing with crushed chips and chocolate drizzle. And you know, just like all of our videos, Tammy will have a picture of all this at the end. So do they all have this exact same base? I think they have the same donut in the bottom. So it's like parlor donuts. Parlor donuts is the exact same donut. It's all like a, a big fat donut with a cinnamon rolled around in cinnamon sugar. And then they put different stuff on top of it, but it's all the same base. Oh, I'll grab that. Yeah, you could see. I mean, it looks like they use like Ruffles mm -hmm. potato chips. That's how I do it. Just pick it and eat it. I really like their donuts. The donut base it has a really nice flavor to it. It's not just a, a bland donut it actually has some flavor now they haven't over sweetened the donut underneath it's not like a, it's it's not like parlor where they haven't rolled it in sugar or anything like that it's just a basic crunchy donut yes but it is very very fresh yeah I, um, it is light mm -hmm. and yeah every one of these have had that like a little crispy edge i do think these are a little smaller yeah they're not as, as thick right they're not huge so well, like a lot of the boxes they were advertising were like boxes of 12. yeah and i think it's because they are they're not many but they are smaller yeah even that was one of your comments uh, when we went in even was that i said oh they're smaller oh, they're smaller <laughs> yeah they're not huge um so that one that one was uh was okay for me um yeah the potato chip flavor really didn't come through as much as i was hoping it would it's not as salty as i was hoping it would and be. i think that's what it is it's whatever brand of potato chips they're using mm -hmm. doesn't have the salt it's not very salty right so that yeah. one wasn't as sweet as the oreo one right i agree okay now we have the chocolate icing with crushed chips and crushed pretzels um, I will say they had, um, they had, it seemed like they had milkshakes and you could get a donut on top. And coffee. But now they did not have any other pastries. Like they didn't have a, um, apple fritter or croissants or bear claws, bear or, claws or any kind of danishes or they have, they make donuts. That's all they make. As far as what I saw. Mm -hmm. Are you done? Mm -hmm. I want to make sure. How do you get both flavors? I, I took the end that had both. <laughs> and then there's another end that has both. <laughs> it's half and half, so. I like the pretzel flavor um, on these. I like their chocolate glaze too. I think so far I've liked their vanilla glaze better than their chocolate glaze because their chocolate glaze is not as sweet, but I like the chocolate. It's nice, it's just not, it's just not as sweet. Do you like the pretzel better? Mm -hmm. it, it, it adds a little bit more salt to it. None of these are what I would call exciting. A overly sweet donuts. Yeah, they're not. They're just not. They um there's nothing wrong with them. Yeah. They're um, they're just not what you'd call an exciting donut. No. They're they're your um they're not they're, sugary they're different sweet. They're different than what you get maybe at the grocery store, but they're not um they're like blow you away donuts. Right. I do like the toppings though. And so next we have a peanut butter icing with crushed pretzels and hot fudge drizzle. I can't wait to taste the peanut butter. Yeah, we'll see what this, the, their frosting, I mean, their glazes have been okay. Again, like, like Perry said, they're not overly sweet. They're just sweet. not overly sweet. I'm used to, I'm used to donuts being very, very sweet and heavy and uh just like blow my mind you know just like make my eyes roll back in my head that has not happened yet mm -hmm. and i don't i'm i don't mean to uh be be negative or anything i'm just g giving you the facts is all no we've had a lot of donuts mm -hmm. 
the peanut butter is nice on there. I do get the peanut butter flavor. It's um, it's a nice peanut butter flavor. It's not um, like really, really strong peanut butter, but you know it's peanut butter at least. Look at that. It reminds me of like a peanut butter fudge flavor. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, but, like a hunk of fudge, like peanut butter fudge. Yeah. Yes. Um, so it had yes, it has a very nice, pleasant peanut butter flavor. Um, that one's probably probably the most flavorful one. Yeah, it had it, it that that and the Oreo one have definitely had the most flavor. But I think that one has more sweetness too, just because of the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I think I would like it better without those pretzels. That's what I was, I was going to hand you a bite. Just because so, I just tried one without. Just so you could get to enjoy the peanut butter without the crunch of the pretzel. I think I would like it better without the pretzel. Try that bite without the pretzel. I tried a piece without the pretzel. It's actually better. Again, it's not one of those blow you away flavors. It's not over the top sweet. Yeah, it's just, it's just okay. But it's it's a pleasant peanut butter. But it's it um, it's more um, the peanut butter is more muted uh, because I think they've added they've added something to it, mm -hmm. um, maybe powdered sugar or something like that. So it is it is nice. It's just the peanut butter isn't like in your face, right? Um, but I do like the texture of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's nice. The peanut butter is the best one so far. Like you said, and the Oreo one. The Oreo one's really good too. And so the last one we have to try is the maple icing with chopped bacon and chocolate drizzle. And let me say, this is probably the strongest smelling. Yes. For sure. And I look at this box. <laughs> They this, definitely drizzle, I mean, uh, yes, put your toppings in They there. definitely put plenty of toppings on there and all that. Like, there's a lot going on in this box. Like, I can have this maple with the bacon. Mm. Ooh, I love the texture. You'll like that. Ashley, our daughter, it, it loves uh, bacon. I love a maple bacon donut. And do you remember when we were in Hawaii and she got um, that... Donut. That had huge chunks of bacon on it. I do have to say, this is actual bacon. It's not bacon bits or bacon crumbs or anything like that. It's actual bacon. Has a chewiness to it. Love the smoky flavor. A little saltiness to it. That's the best one. Mm. Um, it's nice. The most flavor. It does have a lot of flavor. And if you like bacon on your donut, then you will like that a lot. It's like because, a candied bacon almost. Mm -hmm. it, it does taste like candied bacon. It, it does have a smokiness to it. The maple, I didn't get a, didn't a get ton a maple, of maple. Really. No. Um, so, but that could be Which a, is probably good, a good thing, thing because it's not so artificial. No. Um, and that was not my favorite though. Oh really? That's no. probably my favorite one. Um, I think the Oreo was my favorite. Oreo would probably be my number so, two. So I'm so glad I substituted. With, yeah, because I don't think we would have been happy with it. With, with the, the strawberry. strawberry. Um, and I know somebody's going to say, oh, you should have ordered this one, or you should have ordered this I had one. so many to choose There from. were so many to choose from. They have a lot of flavors to choose from if you check out their website. And <clears throat> this one just looked the most appealing to me. Um, these were good. However, I personally don't feel the need to come back uh, just because they're okay. I don't, for me personally, I know Kevin probably feels differently. For me personally, I don't think these are, are much better than what you would get at the store. Well, one of my complaints about parlor donuts was... That they're all the same base. It's the same donut. It's they're the just sticking exact different same donut. glazes on top of them. No, that's what this is. This is the same thing. Although, mm -hmm. I do have to say, I think I like this place's donuts... I don't know. I parlor don't. donuts are pretty good too because like they're parlor they're more like a deep fried kind of yeah. glazy donut. These are more of a dry cakey donut. Yeah, and, and um, yeah, I like. If you're asking, I like parlor better. I probably do too a little bit. This one is really they they've done different things with the, with all the different toppings. That's what their difference is. So if you like a lot of toppings and and stuff, like I really like the bacon one because it has a lot of bacon on it. Mm -hmm. um, but beyond that, most of their toppings were just okay. They were more. 
they were more for looks than actual taste. Yes. Like the pretzels, the chips, they really didn't add much to it except no, a little bit of crunch. Because those that. chips, it would have been nice if they'd had some salt. Yeah, they needed some salt. Uh, my top three would be Oreo, then peanut butter, then uh, ma uh, maple. The bacon. Yeah, I guess so. But it, I'm not a bacon on sweets yeah. kind of person. But now Kevin and I, I like actually both bacon. really like that. Yeah, that would be on number two, one, and then I'd probably pick the Oreo, then the peanut butter. Yeah. So, so the same kind of three. I'm glad we came because someone yeah. had recommended we try them a long time ago, and we do not have duck donuts in our area. Um, it, I'm glad we tried it. They were very friendly. The oh, yeah, service super nice. was great. Um, yeah, they were very nice in there and everything. I think the price was fair for six donuts. Mm -hmm. It's just not a place, honestly, that I ever have to go back to again. No. So, you'll have to let us know. Have you been to Duck Donuts? What did you think? What did you order? Uh, let us know, and thanks for watching.